everybody welcome back to a brand new video in today's video uh we're gonna be tackling a critical critical topic in cybersecurity, which is phishing uh so i'll guide you through creating a simple phishing simulation tool that will show how hackers might try to trick users into giving away their personal information so let's get started uh before we dive in though i would like to make it clear that this tutorial is for, for educational purposes only and using fish phishing techniques to deceive or harm others is illegal and unethical Always use your skills responsibly and focus on helping others protect themselves against these types of attacks. So step one, um, all we're going to do is we need to make sure we have uh, Visual Studio Code installed. So that's the first link in the description or the link on screen. And then also make sure you have Python installed, the latest version, which will be the second link in the description or this link on screen. All right. Um, so then what we want to do is we want to make sure Flask is installed. So we're going to open up the terminal by doing Control tilde. And let's just make this a little bigger so you guys can see. I'm just going to make my screen way bigger. Alrighty. So what we're going to do is we're going to do pip install flask. Very simple. And we're going to make sure it's installed. Um, Alright. There we go. It's installed. Now we can close that. We can create a new file. We'll call it like mainba.py. Um, and then what we're going to do, we'll call it app.py. It doesn't really matter. You just call it whatever you want. Uh, and then what we're going to do is we're first going to import the libraries. Uh, that we're gonna need. So first, we need Flask. That's what we what we just installed, and we're gonna import um, Flask request uh, and render templates. Render template. Okay. Uh, and then what we want to do is create the Flask app. So to do that, we want to do app is equal to Flask, and then underscore underscore name underscore underscore, and then over here, we're gonna do at app dot route is slash okay. and then uh, the home function define home and it's just going to return render template uh, oops return render template and then we'll just call it like index.html it will be our file index.html alrighty so now we're going to create um, a template folder so we're going to create new folder and we're going to call it templates Templates, and we can have different templates in here, and then we can add index.html into here. And in here, uh, it's very simple. So let's first just do HTML5, just to do everything you know quickly. Uh, and then in here, we're going to do call this phishing simulator, phishing simulation. Um, and then over here, we're going to do an H2, which is the second biggest heading in HTML. H1 is the biggest. And then we're going to do a login to your account, something like that. That's how what it would usually look like, all right, in a phishing attack. It will ask you to log in to something, but it's not the real website. And then we're just going to create a form, and it's going to be a post form. Uh, it's going to be a post form, and the action is going to be slash submit method post. All right. And then here we're going to have uh, three inputs, so input. And then we're just going to copy this. Oh, wait, no, and a button. It's two inputs and a button, sorry. Um, so the first input type is going to be text, and it's going to be username. So name equals username. And then placeholder, uh, also username, but capital U. So, and then we're going to say it's required to submit the form. Uh, and then over here, this one is going to be the type, it's going to be password. And then just name equals password. And then the placeholder should be password. And then also required to submit. And then the button, very simple. We're just going to say login. And then type submit. So type submit. All right. So now once we're done with that, we'll go back to the app.py. And now we need to have the uh, Python that handles the form submission. So this will create like a route to handle form submission and actually display the captured credentials. Um, and this is what actually simulates the attack. So we're going to do app at app dot route and then uh, slash submit, which is what the button does, so slash submit, uh, and then methods. I don't know why this keeps coming up. Let me just make it a little bit smaller maybe. Uh, methods is equal to, and then we'll do post. Post. Um, and then right over there, uh, so what we're going to go ahead and do is we're going to find the next function, which is going to be submit. And then this is going to be the username. 
that we put in. Uh, so it's going to be request.form and then just username because that's what we named it. And we're just going to copy paste this and then just put password for this. All right, you, what you can do is you can actually do control and then, uh, wait, is it control? So like, I don't remember. Sorry, that is a specific thing. All right, whatever, it doesn't matter. And then we're just going to do password and password. All right, uh, and then right over here, um, this is where you handle the data. So it says handling the data. So we're just gonna make it really simple. Return f username uh, uses variable and the password. It's very simple. All right, uh, password. Okay. So now to run the app, uh, we need to uh, run the Flask app. So we're just going to do if underscore underscore name underscore underscore is equal equal to, oops, uh, and then underscore underscore main underscore underscore, and then app dot run debug true. All right. And then that's about it. So let's just go ahead and run this now. So we're going to clear our terminal. I'm just going to do Python app.py uh, okay so this is where it is some port 3000 so we're just gonna copy this and we'll press control and click on it and then we have it right over here opened up so it says very simple you can make this look better if you want but uh, it says log into your account right so we're gonna go ahead and log in so I'm just gonna say uh, let's just say like hey at gmail.com or something uh, password one two three four five six seven eight nine zero. Lock in, and then right over there, got the information. So that's it, guys. You built a basic uh, phishing simulation tool in Python. This is a great way to understand how phishing works and to be more aware of online threats. Always remember to use your skills for ethically to prove protect yourself and others. Thank you for watching, guys. If you found this video helpful, please like and subscribe for more ethical hacking tutorials. If you have any comments, questions, or concerns. Please leave it in the comment section down below and let me know in the comments what topics you'd like to see next. Stay safe out there, guys. Have a great day.